Hey guys, welcome out to the range. Today we're going to take a look at the Recover 2020 brace for Glocks. I bought this thing um, probably about three weeks ago now and have been very impressed with it. Uh, from the outset, uh, as soon as I saw it on video, I realized that I was looking at a very unique piece. Slept on it, ordered it, and I'm so glad that I did. It showed up a few weeks later and I have been beyond impressed with it. When you received your Recover 2020, add your side rails to it. What you will notice immediately once you start working with the uh, with the holster, and I'll just actually cover that now, if you add anything here that is substantial in size, you're going to have difficulty getting it down onto the holster because the clearance that's needed for it to get onto the holster uh, precludes anything that's really thick from being on this side. I, honestly, I don't even know if this thing would, would fit on this side. The reason I add both rails, and you should add both rails, is that should you end up running this thing as just a dedicated PDW here on your chest without the holster, it would be nice to have access to both the rails. Because remember, this rail does not preclude you from holstering the thing, so you might as well have it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the assembly of this thing. Of course, the brace comes with the proper tooling to work on it, and the only screw that's needed to open this up is the single screw here. I'm using a tool from Real Avid and the largest Torx actually fits right into the adapter for Recover 2020. When you receive your Recover 2020, it may or may not have the brace folded over. If it doesn't, go ahead and fold it. If it's like this, go ahead and depress this and fold it and lock it in place. And the reason for that is this will not be able to hinge open without the brace closed. You undo the screw. Hinge it open, place your Glock, pay attention to the rear, pay attention to the placement of the front, and also pay attention to the placement of the accessory rail. These three points of contact are crucial. You can accidentally close it like this, with the rear not in place, and you'll get in trouble. So make sure the rear, the trigger guard, and the accessory rail are all seated. And you'll notice this little bit of silver right here. I went ahead and I used um, anti-seize grease, anti-seize compound, guys definitely do this. This is a step that's going to save you a lot of grief um, days or weeks or years down the road. Once your Glock is properly seated, go ahead and close it and tighten the screw. As you tighten the screw, watch the gap right here. Stop once that gap disappears. Right about there. Once that gap pretty much disappears, you're done. Don't over tighten it. Function check it. I basically just grab the Glock and I just wang on the adapter to make sure that it's good and locked in there. I check that gap to make sure it hasn't opened. Give it one last little check. I don't want to go overly snug on this thing because you're going to end up breaking something or over tightening. It's just not necessary. Then adapt, um, then place your light. In my case, I place a WML in the second slot. Once that's tightened down, you're actually done. If you're gonna run it with a sling, then let's go back, let's start over again, and let me show you how that works. Just like before, make sure that your brace is closed. Swing it open. If you're dealing with the sling that the Recover 2020 came with, it's got a little metal ring. You would place the ring right here. And this is such a great little, um, such a great little feature. The post that, the, that the, the sling ring goes onto goes here instead of having to try to thread it through that area right there, which is a nightmare. They made it as easy as swinging this open. And of course, in my case, I just place my bungee sling here and close the brace around it and I'm done. And now I just go ahead and tighten it. Guys, with all honesty, when you're tightening this, literally tighten until it just stops. Once it stops, give it the tiniest little snug forward and you're done. Place your light and now your sling is locked in place and as you guys have already seen I run a six millimeter sling a six millimeter shock cord loop that I use as a sling and the reason for that is when this is on and I've got right arm and head through it I can place it into the holster and there's just enough just a little on the tight side and that's what you want you don't want the sling in your way when you're not using this you want this thing to be tucked up against your body and when you need it you have all the room that you need to go here with it, to run it, to sling it up to your body. This is one of the reasons that I really like this adapter because it behaves like a PDW. I can lock it to my body using the sling. 
I can go back to the holster whether it's open, whether the brace is open or closed. I can go right back to the holster with it, and the brace ends up just at the armpit, which you know isn't a deal breaker. And of course, you can close the brace while it's actually on your person. So it behaves independently as a handgun or independently as a PDW, and that's why it is a piece that is a it's an integral part of a self-defense system, where you've got your handgun. You've got your chest rig for medical, extra ammo, lighting, um, and then you've got your PDW. And the beauty of this is it feels off the same mags as your handgun does. So instead of saying, okay, I'm going to grab my PDW, but I'm also now going to have to deal with my handgun, and I'm, ha I'm having to track two sets of ammo, everything feels off the same thing because this is still a Glock 17, and this is still a Glock 17. I've been running this now for about uh, three or four weeks and have been very impressed with it. Um, I find that it is a very intuitive setup to run because it is essentially a Glock. Um, you don't have to try to, you don't have to try to run this thing. It's a handgun. Now look at your accuracy. Look at that. Everywhere you looked, you put a shot. Isn't that cool? In the black. Yeah. Everywhere everywhere you looked, you're pretty much hitting the edge of the black or in the black. It's all the controls of the handgun are there. There's your mag release, your slide catch. I mean, everything is exactly the same as if it were just a handgun. For me, it's a, it's a slight bit of a hiccup because I'm a lefty, but it is certainly not a deal breaker. And you'll notice I was able to holster it without looking at it. The funny thing is I'm able to holster it without looking at it when I'm not thinking about it. But when I'm thinking about it, I overthink it. So spend a little time training with it. And you're going to find this is probably the most intuitive PDW adapter you've ever tried for your handgun. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.